Sever Guide. Okay, time to take you down. Nice. Well, I guess Sever is the best blade in the game, right? Well, one shot build aside, which I will show off briefly in this video just for the sake of it, if you are interested in doing funny things, Sever is actually a pretty decent blade, even if he doesn't seem all that special at first glance. He has some unique properties along with very good special moves that help him stand out and be useful in a decent amount of situations. I would consider him a pretty safe bottom of B tier blade, which is pretty decent in a game like this. Not bad for a blade who has like two lines of dialogue in the main story. In this video we're going to be taking a look at Sever, discussing all of his strengths and weaknesses, and seeing how to use him most effectively. As always, if you enjoy my guide content, please be sure to subscribe to the channel because it does help out so much. Let's get into it. So Sever is a tank class blade, and similar to Cressidus, he is a known of the knuckle claw based weapons this time, and his unique weapon being the Sword Tanfa. As with all clone weapons, he has different artifacts and stats despite sharing the same animations as Knuckle Claws, and as with all Torna blades, his core chip cannot be changed so the stats you see are what you get. Sever in particular gets an auto attack stat of 1391 when his trust is maxed out, along with a critical hit rate of 15%, which isn't great, but it's okay enough, and a block rate of 25%, which is also decent enough. His physical defense is 20% and ether defense is 30%, which is alright, but not super amazing as a tank class weapon, but still he will likely be fine with his defenses and block rate most of the time. His stat mod is a 15% strength mod, and his weapon even comes with the bonus effect of granting plus 50 strength, so it's a bit clear that he's more of an offensive oriented tank just based on his stats. His cooldown is 4, which is about the average for this game, and he has decent availability. As usual, his skill tree is what really matters, so let's take a look at that. Sever's first skill is Heartless Kill. This increases the damage dealt by a surprise attack by 200% at level 1 and 400% at level 5. This skill is basically the reason the funny one-shot damage caps are possible. 400% is a huge amount, and when combined with stuff like opening art and a general surprise attack, you can get some massive damage very easily. And while it is very funny and contributes to one of the most hilarious builds in the game, most of the time it's pretty useless as a skill since it only works on the first hit of combat when you're surprising an enemy, so it doesn't work at all in story mode or challenge mode, and even if it did, it likely wouldn't be hugely impactful. It's objectively not a great skill because of that and doesn't contribute much to his overall combat strength, but his offensive abilities make, make it fun to take advantage of at the very least, and it's a straight up massive upgrade over the Finch skill, right? Sever's second skill is Nullify Defense. This will add a 60% chance of dealing guard and nulling attacks at level 1, and a 100% chance of dealing guard and nulling attacks at level 5. This skill is made to be confusing because I am nearly certain its name is mixed up with his third skill, which is Armor Piercing. This skill adds a 60% chance to a null defense at level 1, and a 100% chance to a null defense at level 5. You would think that the skill called Nullify Defense would be the one that annuls defense, and Armor Piercing would annul guard, and that makes far more sense naming-wise, so unless Sever is just a massive contrarian troll, which does fit his nature, I have reason to believe these names are backward. More importantly though, these two skills mean that Sever will always go through enemy guard rates, so enemies can never block your attacks, and he will always go through enemy defense values, which means all enemy defense values will be treated as zero. This means he always does consistent and full damage no matter what, unless the enemy is resistant or weak to wind element. He is very reliable for fighting high defense foes or enemies with high block rates for this consistency and is one of the only three blades including Cosmos and Telos which bypass enemy defense on everything they do, which makes Sever pretty strong for just that alone. Now he doesn't have much in the way of damage increases, but this can be made up for and the other benefits of these two skills can make him a strong option. These two skills also technically help the surprise attack build work too since consistent damage, so I guess that's another positive. All around, pretty good skills and gives Sever a niche as the only blade who does not care about block rate or defense of enemies. Let's move on to his specials. Sever's level 1 special is Storm Edge. This is an ether based single hit special that is absurdly fast, like the fastest special in the game fast. And just that alone makes it useful in chain attack setups just for the speed alone since it's a level 1 special. Being fast has other merits too, but that's the main one. Besides that, it probably isn't too amazing since the damage ratio is 300 at level 1, 460 at level 5, and 480 at max affinity, as you might expect at this point, and the bonus effect is increasing critical damage by 85%, which doesn't seem that great with its low critical hit rate, but can still be nice nonetheless. Mainly, this special is mostly good for the speed and how fast you can use it to set up combos or chain attacks with saving time there. 
Cypher's level 2 special is Engrave. This is a 10 hit ether based special with a pretty decent damage ratio of 400 at level 1, 600 at level 5, and 638 at max affinity, and it's also pretty dang fast, especially for being 10 hits. This is a particularly nice special move because of the high hit count and speed, and once again makes Sever a nice option for chain attacks, especially against enemies with higher defenses he can cut right through. The bonus effect isn't all that amazing since it just increases aggro drawn by 100%, but outside of that, it can be a legitimately good special just because of the knee situational uses as a strong option. It even has a bit of area effect, which is always nice. Sever's level 3 special is Deathmatch. This is a 3 hit ether based special that has a decent area of effect radius and a 50% critical hit modifier to go along with its high damage ratio of 550 at level 1, 750 at level 5, and 816 at max affinity, making it a pretty powerful special overall. It has Gardenal as its bonus effect, which is pretty odd considering he already has Gardenal, but I guess you get double Gardenal. Yeah, it's kind of useless and it should probably have been something else, but whatever. The special is still decently powerful outside of that, and decent enough to consider using when you have a level 3 charged. Sever's level 4 special is Deadly Divide. This special has a damage ratio of 1075 along with a 60% critical hit modifier, so it can be decently powerful. Outside of that, it doesn't really have anything. It has no bonus effect, sadly, which is unfortunate, and even though it has Pierce, Sevler already annuls defense, so that doesn't really matter. Once again, that's a bit unfortunate for Sever overall, but at the very least, it freezes driver combos and gives invincibility, which can be very nice to have at the very least. All around, Sever has some pretty good special moves that have situations you'd want to use them in, which is a lot better than most blades, so that's certainly a positive. For setup, Sever cannot change his core chip as already stated, and for aux cores, I am just running a standard affinity max attack, along with outdoor attack because Sever has no inherent damage increases and I want to boost his damage up as much as possible. That will help his defense and null and guard and all attacks do a lot more damage. For accessories, Divine Van Braces are a good and safe damage increase when against higher level foes, and Burst Symbol is nice for Sever since his level 2 is just such a good chain attacking option for a lot of damage. Crimson Headband is a decent choice in the last slot if an ally is running Critical Symbol so Sever can do as much damage as possible with crits. It's also useful to pair him up with someone like Dagas for a nice additive damage boost. You could run some other things on him like Abyss Mask for even more damage or even more defensive options since he is a tank, but I don't think he really plays all that much like a tank myself, but at least he's better at getting aggro than most tanks, and Abyss Mask can be very risky for the extra damage you also take. For pouch setup, art recharge and party meter are a great thing to focus on for more arts and more chain attacks and more specials and all that as usual. It's just the best pouch effect by far. And with all that done, let's take a look at how to use Sever practically. So as I stated, Sever is pretty good in chain attacks, and one thing you can do with Sever is set up really quick uh, fusion combo one orb setups. You can very, very fast do this level 1 special with him since it's such a fast special move and then instantly charge up your level 4 special. And this allows you to set up your level 4 special while Tor is hopefully building his level 3 special, and if you have him as either Earth or Electric Element, well, then you can just go ham on this enemy as soon as you get a good fusion combo setup going. I'm going to wait for the next round of break here before doing the level 4 special just so I can try to get that double stack break. I don't quite get it because I think uh, Zeke decides he's going to be good at toppling so I don't end up being, doing what I would like to do there. But that's not really a huge deal overall. Get the break, I use Cyclone on top of it and then I'm going to use Sandstorm after that. And Zeke takes the very brief moment between this to topple. So he activates his topple right when we're using Sandstorm. Not the biggest deal, we only get a single stack fusion combo instead of the double stack on break, uh, but that's still going to be plenty of damage. I mean, we're going to wreck him anyway. I don't even know why they call these guys super bosses. I, mean, I guess that's why they gave us challenge mode, though, because we just got way overpowered. So This is kind of an easy general setup for chain attacks. Easy damage cap on Sever's level 1, but his level 2 is going to be able to damage cap pretty easily too here, in this case, I believe. Even... Actually, no, because we didn't get the double stack. If we'd have gotten double stack, we would have been damage capped. Otherwise, I think it's going to be just slightly short of that. But you can still see just how high his damage can get there. One hit is damage capped because it has higher damage than all the other hits. But besides that, no big deal. Got a really big overkill on this thing. He was already dead well before we even used Sever's level 2 special. Probably had enough damage to kill him at least two times over. But, you know, it's more fun this way. But you can do the same thing against uh, Cloud Sea King Ken, who has 50 million HP. Since, as you know, Ken's defense value is... Um, it gets nullified by Sever, so he's actually doing slightly more damage than he would normally here against uh, Ken compared to um, what he would be doing otherwise since Ken is weak to win. But 
So we can actually do uh, more damage in the chain attack here with just the same exact setup since we nullify guard rate and um, defense rate. That is something very, very beneficial about Sever. Even enemies with higher defense like Cloud Sea King can here, we can just do a lot of decent amount of damage to. Unfortunately, I think I get the good setup here, but Tora does not have his level 3 up yet. That was really, really unfortunate. I don't know why he doesn't have it up 30, 40 seconds into the battle, so I'm only going to be able to single stack a fusion combo again here. That's not the biggest deal in the world, though. We just got to wait for another break cycle, sadly. And uh, then we're going to use Tora to uh, use his level 3 right as the topple comes out. And we're going to chain attack right after this and try to get as much damage as we possibly can while he is toppled. And this is not going to be hard. This is, should only take twice, two rounds of this to kill him because of Sever's high hit count and uh, just general strength of the fusion combo here. And you can see how fast Sever's level 1 is in the chain attack. Just, it, it, it just hits so fast. There's only The only really comparable special is like female katana level 1 or something. Otherwise, it's probably one of the fastest specials in the game and saves a decent amount of time just from being used. And that also helps us get to the second round of the chain attack faster so we can take advantage of the rest of the fusion combos. That's another benefit here. Now, Sever's not damage capping here despite him being weak to wind. I think he lost a max affinity for some reason during that chain attack because otherwise that would have easily hit uh, damage caps there. But not the biggest deal in the world. I think I might have been standing too far away when I activated the chain attack or something because... Um, once I get out of this chain attack, I do not have max affinity. So yes, I lost max affinity. That's the only reason I did damage cap there. A little unfortunate, but not really a big deal. We did over half his health anyway, so just uh, setting up a similar combo here the second time around should be enough. He's not weak to win anymore, but it's not really the biggest deal in the world. Sever still does plenty of damage overall. I'm trying to go get that health potion, but Ken is in the way, so I just got to keep attacking now, unfortunately. Not a big deal, though. If I was able to get that health potion, I might not have gotten down to 1 HP here, but you know what, that's fine. Because I like living on the edge. We get another health potion, no big deal, and uh, now we can do the setup for you. I'm very fortunate that I am lucky and can just live with my 50% chance, because, you know, being lucky is good sometimes. We get the topple. I was not actually expecting that topple, but we get the topple, so that gives us a double stack, uh... Fusion combo on this topple, which means our chain attack is going to be doing plenty of damage. Very easy damage caps in this case. We just got to be able to get there in the chain attack before uh, it expires. So, Sandstorm topple, I activate chain attack instantly. And yeah, that's going to be the end of this pretty much. Pretty, pretty simple fight with uh, Sever and his really powerful level 1 and 2, all that. I guess Cutie Pie is also helping carry, so good for her. Good for her. So. Next round, we're going to get like 10 hits of damage cap, except maybe one of the hits that don't crit, I believe. So, we're going to see the full power of Sever there, I suppose. And right before the topple expires, just going all in. Not too bad at all. And uh, Cutie Pie just gets some extra overkill here because she can, so... Sever's pretty good. He's got um, guard and all defense and all. He can do a lot of damage in chain attacks if everything goes well. And um, he's just a pretty powerful blade overall, so... Definitely a decent blade option. Probably the best of the four Torna blades we have covered so far. I like him a lot. And he's also got some other benefits. I want to briefly just show off um, against Armored Brennan here. This is a normally unique monster that's gimmick is really high block rate that um, Tora and um, Zeke are struggling against right now. But Sever doesn't care. He just hits no matter what for just full damage. He never gets blocked or anything. And that's uh, a pretty good benefit for him, actually. I think that's uh, one of the... Really nice things about him against enemies like this that are just have really annoying block rates. Against enemy drivers, you know, when they normally use specials, they get dra drastically increased block rates. Sever doesn't care about that, so that's uh, something positive he can do there as well. And all around, you can just get quite a lot of damage out of Sever. He's a pretty powerful blade overall. Um, maybe not compared to the very top tiers, but just... Being in being a solid blade as you wouldn't expect with a blade with no damage increases on his skill tree, he can do quite a bit of damage there, and I think that's uh, pretty cool. So, what about the one shot build? Well, it's actually a lot more simple to set up than you might think. All you really need is an opening art plus six or even five, and you can still probably get plenty of damage. That will increase the damage of your opening art by 225%, and it's an independent multiplier. It's the only one of those damage increases like that that is independent. So it can boost your current damage no matter what by quite a bit. That is the main factor. Then all you gotta do is just sneak up behind enemies and then hit them with Gale Upper on Rex, or maybe drop kick on Zeke if you wanna use him on Zeke. 
and it's very, very easy to execute. Now, I do have strength mods on Rex right now with the common blades. I do have that, plus 50 strength chip and 24% strength mod on those axes. And that gives you enough strength to make sure you can always get these damage cap hits, basically. And besides that, my accessories are the, um... I have outdoor attack up as my other aux core since we're not hitting max affinity in time, and that just gives you the damage increase you need. Abyss Mask and Master Attachment. Those are the only important two accessories. The final accessory, I just have Crimson Headband, but you can get damage cap without crits, as you've already seen. There's not really any other options you have to increase damage that much. So those are just basically what you're going to want to run. The Master Attachment increases weapon attack, and um, Abyss Mask just gives you 110% damage increase. Nothing else that you can even equip really increases the damage besides Crimson Headband, but you might not even get crits, and you don't even need that anyway. You can easily hit those damage caps regardless, so that's just the general setup you want to do that. It's a very funny build, just going around one-shotting things, but they have to be under 1 million HP, and if they are, it's easy one-shots. All around, Sever is a pretty fun blade who has some interesting gimmicks, and um, I like him a lot. So I hope you guys have learned something from watching this video. I think that's going to cover it for this video. And if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, buy my merch, support me any other way you can, follow me on Twitter, join my Discord, all that kind of good stuff. With all that being done and said, thank you all so much for watching, as always, and have a wonderful and blessed day, and I will see you soon.